For more tips and tricks, don't forget to hit that button and subscribe. Also, ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime I have new videos. Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. I'm Paul Ricaldi, and on my previous video, I showed how you can build these shutters yourself. Super simple way. You can take and make this shutter in no time at all. I have three boards that I cut at one time. Then I have this member, this member, and my other cross member for another shutter cut at one time. I have a template that was simple to make. You put it on here and it spaces everything out correctly so all of them drop in the same way. On my end screen, you'll see that video and you can go directly to it. Now, what I'm gonna do on this video is show you how to make these quick connect. We're gonna use French cleats. These things marry each other and they snug tightly to the wall. We have a special tape that's real strong. We will put one side on the house, one side on your, your shutter, and then we'll pull it back out and have all our holes here for fastening. Super easy, it's gonna to pop together in seconds. And you'll have a shutter without even having to measure. You're gonna be able to drop these in place. You see this right here? I replaced it on my last video. Look at this side over here. And I didn't wanna bring that to your attention on the last video because it was a short one. But I wanna tell you, look at how bad this is. How they don't match. This board is here, but next one is about an, almost an inch above it. Make sure if you have siding that you're putting on a house, you start off at the bottom, it has to be level. You work your way up, so when you come to this next side, same thing, it works its way up. If you have a lower ceiling on that side, well then the top of your board will be cut a little bit, but everything's gonna line up. Now, that rant's over with. One day I might address this because I'm thinking about putting vinyl siding on my house and it'll all be straight. But, we're gonna get started on this right now. If you are taking and putting vinyl siding on, on here and you wanna put the shutters on top of that, make sure that you pre-drill your hole through the vinyl siding so the siding can still move. Then put your, your screws in place, okay? I just wanna let you know that because I'm not touching on vinyl siding with these shutters. With these shutters, they're going on wood siding. The other ones are going on brick. Doesn't matter if you're going on stucco, this procedure will work on all of them. We're gonna take these pieces right here and I'm gonna line them up with this side. I have them on this side right here. I know what board it's on. At least my boards are even with each other right here on the face. It was where they met up on all the corners that they screwed up. So I'm gonna take this cell sticking or double stick tape. I'm gonna peel it off the back, okay? We're gonna put this one in place. You see where your screw holes are. Make sure that it bends out and goes up, okay? Your bottom ones will come out and up. The top one will do the same. The ones on your shutter will face down. No problem, easy stuff. All right, we'll take this one right here. I'm an inch and five eighths off. I put a little mark on there and I'm just gonna line this up to where it's even because I will say that these are even. I measured them out. That's it, it's on there, all right? I peel my next one, I will put it up top. Can't get easier than this. This is easier than mounting regular shutters on there. And the great thing about this is, I can pull them off anytime I want. So now, we come back that inch and five eighths, put it even with the bottom, and push it. That's it. Now we're gonna take the next two pieces and sit them on top of here. Once we do that, we just peel the back off, right? Okay, we have a sticky edge. All right. I need this to be tight coming forward. I can't have it pushing back for any reason at all. So I'm gonna take this little shim and put behind it. That way it forces it forward. Make sure that they're tight. That's why I have one going one way, the other going the other, and it forces it forward. Same thing right here, shims. I'll put them against each other, right in the track. And get down in there. And I push them against each other until they really force that forward. I'll put it to the height that I want, close to the ceiling. We're on the money right here. Carefully, don't just yank it, just slide it right off. 
My shims will follow, no big deal. But everything else is intact. Play this across it because my, my stain is pretty fresh. I want to make sure I don't mess it up. Put my square up against it and you can see I'm on the money. Meaning my level was on spot. I'm going to put my screws in. Whoop. You saw that screw, huh? Pulled it. Push it back a little bit. Excuse the mess out here. I had to take my sails down and I'm moving everything out of my backyard because we have Hurricane Sally out in the Gulf and it looks like it may be coming really close to us. I'm being sent back to the fire department today. They called me and told me I have to go in in a couple of hours. So we're gonna get this done real quick. Now, this is super important. These shutters slide on the house, okay? Some of them, I have room up top and I drop them down. Those are really simple, even easier than these. The only thing I have to do on this is make a slight adjustment on my bottom clip. My bottom French cleat has to be raised up a tiny bit on the shutter to give me room because I'm sliding it and I don't want to have, I don't want to have to fight it. I want it just to slide in place. It's still going to hold, but it's going to, it's not going to be super tight against the bottom. So I can just slip it right on. And all I'm going to do is raise it up above that line just a tad because the other one goes right here. And I don't want it rubbing tightly against there when I'm trying to push it sideways. I want to give a tiny bit of room. So we will pull this tape up a little bit, scoot it back just about a sixteenth, at the most an eighth, an eighth of an inch. And that's going to give me enough room to slip it on there. We just run our screws in. You can see that was not hard at all. Here we go. If you want these to stay in place after you have them in and you don't want them to move, all you have to do is put a tiny dab of silicone right in the top and bottom or in two spots and it's going to hold it right there and it's not going to move. If you go to remove them, just take your little razor blade right behind there and cut the silicone and slide them off. And that is all she wrote. You can check your siding and see if it's level. And these are, they're straight across. If they're level, Super easy. I'm just going to put my tabs, my cleats right at the bottom of three of these. And then when I push it on there, that's it. I'll take and do one side, bring it over to the bench, and then I'll match the other one exactly the same as that. You'll see in a minute. And then that way, boom, we knock two out in no time. Go the tape off. I'll put it down to the next one. Remember, these will face up. The ones on the wall. I'm going to come about a inch off the, the corner, that's it. One, I'll put one in the middle. I have my three pieces, same as the back. I'll just set them in place and we're gonna pull the tape off and shim them. And you'll see, put one shim one way, one the other, push them together until they really widen out, tighten up. As long as this board, this trim is plumb, I can follow this. And I already see my mark up top. I see where I'm going to go. Get it right on that spot and push it. That's it. It's not going anywhere, guys. Look. Everything lines up. And I have my three clips on this side that match that side. All I have to do is take these over and mark them. Okay, this one's facing backwards. So we will line them up next to each other. We'll lock these down real good. Slip them in place and drop them down, that's it. They lock right on. Not going anywhere. Same thing. You can see it on brick right here. It looks great, it's very simple. The same techniques that you'll use to put it on siding, but you're mounting it on brick. So you can come back over after with anchors if you want, or 
You can use a special adhesive. There's a few different adhesives that work really well to mount this on here. And I'm waiting on one right now from an industrial company that will supposedly really make it easier than what I have now. So once that comes in, I'll have it on paulstoolbox.com. You can check out all these products. I will have everything together in order to put these shutters on your, on your house from paulstoolbox.com. And I'm gonna have all kind of information on there. So make sure you check that out. It will be coming soon. If you guys don't mind, please hit like for me. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out paulstoolbox.com for all this information and I'll see y'all later.